Hey everybody and welcome to this video. My name is Dave Hiddeman with Trimble uh, and this is the next video in our series of what's new with Tecla Structures 2024. Um, at the time of this recording we are currently in the RC phase uh, which is release candidate. Um, final is scheduled to be released in the next couple of weeks so I encourage you to go ahead and download the RC, kick the tires, try it out and make sure you give us any feedback that you might have. Um, so today we're going to be talking about a couple of new snapping tools in Tecla Structures that I think is going to make modeling, especially complex stuff, a little bit easier. Um, the first one that I want to talk about is this snap to parallel. So let me go ahead and snap in a quick just, you know, skewed beam here just for fun. Um, down here you'll see on the toolbar there's a new snap to parallel points uh, icon and if I press that icon down and I go ahead to create another beam, um, I can actually hover over that member and you can see that I'm getting a parallel line next to it so that I can click and I've created a parallel member. Let me slap that into a plan view and we'll, we'll show you that again. Um, so essentially I can activate another beam command and then with that button pressed down, the snap to parallel points, I can hover over the object I want to run parallel to and extend that out. Um, I can say that one thing that I do wish we had was sort of a combined snap. I'd like to see sort of a parallel and intersection, which, which would be pretty cool. Um, but for now you can run, go ahead and run that parallel out maybe past a little bit and then you could trim that back or, you know, split it or something like that, pull the handle back, whatever you want to do. So a real use case for this that I thought of was if I'm in, say, a plan view and I have a, a wall um, that I'm trying to create something next to. Let me go ahead and uh, tile my windows here. Um, so what I can do is, let me rotate this around so we can see it happen at the same time. You know, I could activate the beam command, go ahead and snap to the center of this column, and then just start tracking parallel to this wall. So again, I'm being able to create members along that without having to draw it on the line, on the wall and then offset it or, you know, change something about my coordinate system again. I could just simply snap to parallel to create that object. So that's one thing. Um, another tool, let me rotate this view around and we'll go back to just the 3D. And I'm not used to having, uh, I'm missing my hotkey set up here that I have in my personal settings, so we'll go ahead and use the drop down option. Um, the next function that I want to talk about is snap to perpendicular of faces, and that's something that we haven't had before. So uh, basically, to show you what that looks like, I can activate the beam tool. Here I've got uh, a beam set up. I've already gone ahead and thrown in some. Uh, points to help me, you know, lay out where I want these beams. But let's say I want to create beams between that point and snapping to the face of that wall because we're going to have some sort of embedded plate created there. Um, now I could flip to a plan view where I can go ahead and, you know, actually see that uh, that front edge. But with this new tool, what I can do is simply click on the point and you can see it's already finding the perpendicular there you may have to do a right click and actually choose perpendicular from your snap overrides if you're having problems but very quickly this allows me to snap parts right to the face of that wall. Let me turn off that snap to parallel because having both of those on is getting in the way uh, just a little bit. So there we go and now if I flip to a plan view you can see that all of those have snapped right to the face of that wall which again makes things super easy for being able to model in 3D and throw those parts in right where I want them to be. Now one quick note about this just so you're aware if your uh, wall or if your objects are set to transparent the, the perpendicular snap to the face does not work even if you do a snap to perpendicular override through the right click menu um, it, it can't see what to snap to so you do have to make that rendered solid in order to um, hit that face that's especially going to be important for those using the US environment or any other environment where you have something like concrete always set to transparent while your steel is set to solid that's going to cause an issue with that snap to face I can't hit that and the control one two three four isn't going to do anything so if you're doing that type of work make sure that you're running a representation that is not making parts transparent on you so that you can go ahead and hit that perpendicular snap Okay, um, so it's not just perpendicular that we can snap to, there's also an intersection that we can snap to. So let me show you what that looks like here um, real quick. So I've gone ahead and I've thrown in 
uh, a construction line. Let me rotate this guy around. So I have a construction line running through the face of this tube column, and this construction line is skewed. So if I needed to model something to that point, uh, I can do so now by making sure that my intersection snap is on. I may want to right click and actually again choose an override to make sure I'm getting that. And then right there I can snap to the intersection point of where that construction line passes through the face. So think of this in, in a, again, practical terms of where I might actually use this. Let's say I have some sort of member framing into here at an angle, and I want to make a manual plate of some kind. Um, what I can do is have both the um, you know objects rendered solid, intersection snap turned on, and my parallel points turned on, so that I could come in here, snap to that face, and then come down and say, all right, let's go ahead and make a plate that's 12 inches deep. I'm going to hover over this line so I can see I'm running parallel. I don't have to change my coordinate system. I don't have to like reference off of it in any way. I can simply track along it and say, okay, let's come, come out uh, six inches. And then I can snap up and middle mouse click. And I've gone ahead and create created sort of a, you know, skewed shear tab. Now, of course, we have components for that sort of thing. But if you ever do get into manual modeling, I think that right there is a pretty handy set of tools added to model that much quicker than I would have done previously. Now, that snap to intersection, um, it does work for construction lines. It does not work for construction arcs or circles, something to keep in mind. Um, also, if you're trying to model to where an object collides, let me just show you here. I'll turn this to transparent so we can see. Um, not all edges are going to be picked up. So let me transfer or change this back to rendered solid. You know, let's say I'm just going to activate the plate command. Um, if I hover in towards the flanges, you can see how it is picking up that intersection point. I may have to right click and do my snap override to make it a little bit more explicit. I do find that this is sort of it's a little hesitant to grab that point, so you got to be pretty explicit with it, right? You know, I'm aiming pretty carefully in there, kind of wiggling my mouse around before it snaps. So the tips of the flanges working really well. If I try to get in here, though, and grab that inner corner, it is not giving me an intersection snap there. And I, I'm guessing here that that's because, um, you know, while we're showing a hard corner, the actual shape, you know, that's being, you know, uh, sort of used under the hood or it's being you know kind of calculated under the hood actually has a radius there so I think that's why it's not working uh, at that inner corner so just you know again something to keep in mind when you go ahead to start um, working with this it is edges and intersection of faces uh, center line along the top of this beam in the face is not a thing right it's got to be an edge and a face to get that snap and you can see once again it's it's a little hesitant to grab that corner it's almost you know like it's not quite sure it wants to give me that snap at this point um, but the regular snapping you know now I can snap to the perpendicular uh, maybe I want to come up here and, and click again, middle mouse click, and I've created sort of a, a stiffener <laughs> inside that beam. Uh, not sure that's something actually applicable, but again, that snap to surface, snap at the intersection of a surface is something that I have been wanting for many, many years. So I'm very pleased to see that in the software. I'm hoping, you know, that it only gets better. I'd like to see maybe some midpoint at surface, right? Things like that. But um, we'll just see what comes out in, in the future versions of Tech Club. And of course, all of that can only happen with feedback from people like you. How would you use these tools? What kind of further enhance would you, uh, enhancements would you like to see? Make sure you give us that feedback. In any case, again, this is RC of 2024. Final is going to be out in just a couple weeks. I once again encourage you to go ahead and try this stuff out and let us know um, how you feel about this new development. Thanks.